<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Yes, it is me, her, and everything else. We the girl Stephanie Coker here. Sorry, guys. I for the first time in maybe let's say eight years, I had a bit of coffee. And um, yeah, it's about to be a very, very energetic episode. I'm with my girl. What's up? Toyo Fi Etim Effion. Stephanie. Mrs. Mrs. M R S. <laughs> we, we go way back yeah, we yeah. actually do yes way back to um, and we've done well if if we do say so ourselves uh, yes. you know I mean we've made progress yeah we have uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yes, I'm happy yes. to I'm happy to see you fly I'm Likewise, happy to see you do your my thing sister, the good media yes that good media yes yeah. that's good media yes, sorry yes. so tell us a bit about that so that good media is a media strategy firm. We've we've sort of branched out into everything media right now. We do media binds, media strategy, like I said, PR, um, and then we've entered the branding space as well. So we help with brand development, rebranding, okay. all of that. Yes, nice. and we're unique because we do strategy and implementations. Okay, so a lot of times people just do like the strategy, like the small firms tend to do strategy and tell you, okay run along and go and implement yourself. Mm. But we do the strategy and implementation. Okay. So so you execute. Yes, we execute. Okay, exactly. Yeah, and I noticed yeah, you had one that brought all the Hollywood superstar. So, <laughs> <that's all. laughs> no. so you are managing <laughs> what's for you? Because I just oh, saw yeah. you every day. <laughs> Hollywood, I'm I busy. Was, Sorry, that I'm busy. That right week, now. that week was a wild week, actually. Um, so you know, I wear many hats. Um, mm-hmm. another hat I wear is um the global director of content hat. Come on. With my pad. Come on. So my pad is uh, is long. Guys, we are warming up to something. But that's why she dropped <laughs> all of these so that you know. <laughs> my pad is most influential people of African descent. That's what my pad stands for. So we highlight and recognize people of African descent, which really is all black people globally who are doing excellent things across okay. different fields. And so we partnered with Multi Choice last month um, during the AMVCA week to bring people of African descent in Hollywood, which is Black Hollywood talent, down to Nigeria. And that's why we're rolling with the... With the big boy. Rolling with the big boy. <laughs> with the real big boy. The <laughs> real dollars. Dollars. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, this was a dollar kind of situation. Oh, is that what, this was a dollar <laughs> kind of situation. I love it. That's going to be... Ah, that's, that's it. actually a vibe. Well, see, I this only want a dollar situation in my life right oh, now. Boom. Boom, you know? <laughs> Wait, so let's get to where we are going with this. Um, so amongst that, you're also a missus to um, yes, the lovely actor, yes. superstar actor, Daniel S.M. F. Young. Yes, yes. And yeah, um, it's, yeah. Um, it's a, tell us how it is. <laughs> like because you know, us. you're in the media. I am. But um, he, I would say that he's maybe more in the forefront. Um, entertainment. He's entertainment. Yes. and. Um, would you say you're like more behind the scenes now mm. and just a bit? so I like to say that we're both in showbiz mm. is the show I'm the biz okay. I see this this is my biz <laughs> <laughs> it's the show mm. and I'm the biz and it's working for us and it's work. yes it's definitely working for you <laughs> uh-uh. working. come on I feel as if I'm going to come off arrogant on this show uh, so you, you are the business <laughs> <laughs> Are you used to well, mind yes. your business? Yes, uh, actually. But lately, lately, yeah. some some things have been happening. Yeah. And um, yeah, this is great because I really want us to talk about marriage and um, social media. Yeah. We're both married. Yes, we are. And we have, you know, we're both, we have people that are somewhat, yes. in, well, yours is public. a show businessman. Yours is, is a, he's a public he's figure He's a well. public figure, whether he likes it or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And um, being married in in the entertainment industry and in this day and age because it wasn't mm. like this before social media. It's as if people just started noticing me and I'm okay. I'm fine with this. Like, mm. it's okay, you know, because before it was my husband, my husband, my husband. And it didn't always start off like that. You know, I was in New York. I was on um, Sahara TV doing the entertainment show, all of that. So I had my own life. I had my own thing going on. And then I moved back to Nigeria and Nigeria just like, just upper court, left, right, just like... <laughs> Nigeria humbled me, I'll say, because I was coming back like I'm just I, I, I'm, I just got back. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just got, got back. back. I was hope like I was expecting people to jump on that. I just got back thing right. and like I'll be here, I'll be there. I was nowhere. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was nowhere. I, I was in my house. And I got married and then I started having kids and I was nowhere you know, you but the house. Right. No, we were but on the, the on house. A, on a network together. Yes, well, we were on our rides for, for how, how long? 
Was it not like six months? How long I were there? So. I didn't a couple remember. Of months, but less than a year. But everything just went quiet on my end. And then Wait, my husband... Wait, but before we get to... Uh, how did you meet Daniel? I'm really interested. How did you guys meet? <laughs> well, we're honest on this place. But I've even said it before. He's on the Instagram. He's on the same social media that they are... Is it to <laughs> try and... <laughs> He's on that same place. Because he was on Gideon. Okay. That's and Danny production. And as in... I was just Danny, where are you going? What is this? And he was a bad boy on Gideon. He played for Larry. For Larry was like a bad guy. And I'm just like, ah. And so I had the list of celebrity crushes that I had. And I Idris like Elba. Woman. Idris Elba was two. Michael Ely mm. was one. The guy with the eyes was mm. one. And then Daniel Etim Effion was number three. So he was a crush. And then I shot my child, Moshe Grosha. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was studying producing at New York Film Academy and we were supposed to do a project or come up with that project ideas. And I thought we don't have enough biopics, which is something that is still mm. ongoing anyway. We don't have enough biopics, enough true stories. So there, there are stories about almost everybody half important in America. You know what mm. I mean? Like there, there are movies on, of course, Michael Jackson and yeah. this one and Whitney. And there are the high level production stories and then there are the like low level production but shared the stories are told so yes. we have people like Lifetime networks like Lifetime who mm. will do a movie on Aliyah without having the rights to right. Aliyah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or something so I was like we need biopics and I went on Instagram I saw of course I was following him that was early Instagram just started and then I now saw in his bio mm-hmm. filmmaker I was like, oh, this guy is not just an actor. Mm. He's actually a filmmaker. No, I'm serious. I know nobody will take me seriously. And I don't, I don't care. But I DM'd him. And I'm hey. like, hey. <laughs> I'm a bit dramatic. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> you said that this guy was your crush. Are you your chest? You no. Just, what, you went there, I you promise like, you. Me, what is he this? was an actor crush. Uh-huh. I saw filmmaker and I was serious. Cool. It was work. <laughs> Somebody says, so oh, film, no, Dan. <laughs> Please, I want to know. Oh, what was this film? When did it, when was it released? We were, stop it. <laughs> I reached out to him to do a movie on the life of Two-Face. Okay. We actually, do, he's a living legend. Yes, and there's nothing honoring that. You mm. know what I mean? And so he was like, I love this idea, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk. Uh, and we talked. <laughs> Yeah, well, but you didn't talk about Two-Face. We That's, did. Of okay, course, we talked uh, about it for the, the first, for the first, like, 30 minutes. Uh, 30 <laughs> minutes. Seriously. I'm kidding. We actually talked about it. We talked about how important it is to tell these stories, mm. how we need to just talk about the lives of these guys. We actually did talk about it. Mm. And then we went on a break. We didn't talk okay. for a while. And then I moved back. And my first job was on Giddy Up Season 3. How convenient. As production manager, I promise you I did not work it. Wait, wait, wait. Did you, did you, um, what's the word now? Did you apply or anything like that? I had applied for another role at Ndani. That was not a Ndani shy. Well, it was not, it was, I promise you, it was everybody, on, everybody, all the crew members know that I came innocently. Okay. I came to work as production manager. Production manager is like hard work. So wait, from Two Face oh, to Ndani. I'm oh, listening. Lord. Yes. Ah, this girl, sharp this, babe. Stop, I promise. It. <laughs> anyway, of course, he was one of the lead characters. So he ended up being on the set. Mm. And um, we were together every single day filming mm. for like six kilo day. <laughs> kini, kini. What is it? Every, every single <laughs> day filming for six weeks. And in the six weeks, like we both knew, you know, we, we, we both knew. Yeah, so in less than a year, we were engaged and... Oh, it's speed. Oh, my God, of speed. <laughs> I said the God of speed. We were engaged. We got married. We have two kids. Oh, wow. Come on. It's very encouraging for the women out there that yeah. have crushes or... Shoot your shot. Don't let anybody tell you anything. Uh-uh. Yeah. Come on, shoot your shot. I love it. Thank you. Okay, so now you're married. <laughs> you have two kids. You know, you're a businesswoman. You're in show yeah. business and all that. Um, A lot of women have a crush like you did on your husband. Exactly. So how have you been able to, you know, navigate... With all the women that have a crush on your husband. Because, you know, you you started off having a crush on him first. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, you're the missus now. But yes. how, do you, how have you been able to handle it? I mean, I empathize with them. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously. <laughs> ah, you like, <laughs> Because I know <laughs> what it means. 
like mm. to crush on someone who is seemingly unattainable and then mm. now someone who is unattainable. You know what I mean? I actually do empathize with them and I understand. So, I mean, when we're out and people want to take pictures, of course, mm-hmm. it's the whole, it's the whole showbiz business, yes. you know, it's the showbiz business. Um, well, the showbiz, I, like, I, I get it. So I'm relaxed. I'm not. It's have not you ever gotten jealous? I have. And I got jealous. I had to talk about it with him. And that's something that we do. It's communication. The lines must always be open for us. Mm. Always be open. But there was one movie. I don't remember what movie it was. And that kiss. That kiss was. It looked. It looked real. Well, wait. Like, what, what movie I don't was even it? remember. Was it? Was it a, like, I, I remember it was on a set. Wait. I know that you're on the movie with him right I now. I have not kissed yours. But we're like. Ah, I'm not kissing him. Ah. I was thinking. Thank God. Because I cannot kiss this woman. <laughs> No, stop. I will not do that. Ha. It's a job. It's a job. Who is the person that it's a job. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I think have it was photographic memory. Wait, wait. I promise you, I don't remember. But I remember calling him later, like pulling him aside it's a later. Exactly. No, no, no. It's not actually. Okay. It's like two years ago or so. Two uh, maybe or three it was years men's ago. Club. Oh, yeah. It's possible. Do we speak your about this? Yes. Okay. Anything. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yes. I think it was like three years ago. And I was like, Can this kiss look different to like, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this. Like, it looked different. So did you feel anything? Of course, even if you felt anything, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I should have said, did you, did you feel anything? Like, mm. it looked like you were kissing her like you kissed me. I was like, no, babe, oh. it's a job. No, all of that. So yeah, I have gotten jealous. Mm. To answer the question, I have gotten jealous. But I try to talk about it all the time. Yeah, and that's the best way because, you know, yes. if you start harboring those yes. feelings, you start, it can start manifesting you, you start acting out and he's just like, what's going, what's on, going on here? On? Every exactly. time you see me kiss someone on set, you give What today? Kiss kiss Oh my God. Yeah. You know, I actually told my husband the other day that I kissed a guy on set. Yeah. That is an actor, sorry. What did he say? Huh? Your husband he, is he, not in the industry. No, so I feel for pe- people whose husbands are not in the industry, I think it's a different yeah, no, kind of conversation. Me, he looked at me first. He said, you walk kiss. You walk kiss. I said, <laughs> I said, yeah, it, like I, I kissed actually said, uh, and then he went and then I came back. He said, so you kissed someone. So he said, you're a cheater. I said, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, you're a cheater. He said, it's like, it's like you pack your stuff. He said, so what kind of kiss? I didn't even tell him that the person carried me. Yeah. Carried me up. Uh, he was yeah. all like just looking he's just like you know I'll come back to your case later. I don't think guys can handle it especially uh, those that are not in the industry so yeah. I mean we're here he won't be watching that movie. <laughs> <laughs> he will not be watching that he will movie. watch it yeah no but, yeah, but um, with social media now because yeah. we, we, we we accept that okay they're doing a job you know it's a movie they're on set uh, but with social media, the lines mm. are becoming a bit blurred yeah. with people's boundaries. People don't really have boundaries on social media and they feel like anything goes and anything mm. is like cruise or it's funny. So I did see that tweet of a young lady yes. that said, OK, you know, is there room in Toyo C or um, no, no, Daniel's? No, 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 no. Something about does he respect? Do we know if he oh, respects yes. mm-hmm. his marriage? So the space thing was a different one. Mm. The, this, um, Etimefi, I don't remember how she put it. And People sent it to me. I'm not really on Twitter. So Twitter is not my 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 playing field. So I'm not really there. But people sent it to me. And it's like, this sentiment film is a good actor or something funny. Something about, is he married? Does he respect his marriage? I think that's that's where... Yeah. I was like, hmm. I mean, we get the odd jokes here and there, mm. all of that. But that does he respect his marriage was, was very bold. Yeah. It was audacious. It was very audacious. Yeah, especially the re- it's the word respect as well. Like, like, okay, so if he doesn't respect it, so you believe do you he would understand? disrespect? Or do you want him to disrespect his mm-hmm. marriage? Mm-hmm. Do you understand? For me, it just went different dimensions for me. Do you understand the sanctity mm-hmm. of marriage? Mm-hmm. Do you know how important just marriage is to society? Like people who come from broken homes will tell you they they a lot of them will not want to be from broken homes. So mm-hmm. if you see a marriage that is working, that is functioning contribute to it by with good vibes yeah positively and positive energy you know what i mean like don't just say something like does he respect his marriage was a bit just off for me and i was like yeah yeah like you think certain things but you don't say them yeah that's wisdom mm-hmm. foolishness is thinking something and then just saying it and then thinking it's funny 
And I think when a generation where people think everything is everything funny. Everything is funny. And no, everything is not funny. No, I saw it on your page and I just literally vomit. I think I did. I saw, I saw, yes, yeah. I saw that. Because it's just very, um, I don't know, is it? It's just the class. I, I, I was it's, actually it's, taken aback. Um, yeah, it's. I was actually taken aback. I like, don't even have hmm. the word. It's just too much. It yeah. was too much. Yeah. Um and you get the space thing as well like oh, oh space <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe they had is there room for me to chuck my head <laughs> no that was sort of like a joke you know it was like let's in fact Stephanie at this point I think I'm losing count because there was one of share your husband with us like let's share him okay yeah that's when he yes, was on live right yeah oh and that's when you now came and I said, said ah, we can all be shared <laughs> she yeah shared, exactly. shared. Shabby, you think you're the only one we can actually all be shared have you heard Bim listen <laughs> And it's like, so who is asking to share you? I said, people asking to share me are not on Instagram. They are not typing comments. They don't have time. They're making money. <laughs> it's a dollar situation. <laughs> dollar situation, baby. You know? And I think, I think that was liberating for a lot of women. Yeah. And eye-opening for a lot mm-hmm. of men. I think they know, but they don't acknowledge it. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Believe it. They don't. But it's actually, as women like you, Men like your wives. Yeah. Like it's, it's, we're, it's the law of attraction. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's now for everyone to establish their boundaries and decide what they want to do with their life and their destiny. Mm-hmm. But that's nobody's looking at your wife is not a realistic thought to have. Yeah. Yeah. You're very right. Because even when, you know, you walk around with your ring, people will still be like, ah. <laughs> You know, let yes. me, let me, no, this one is silly though. But um, I walked out of my house and I guess this guy's never seen me. He's a new contractor or whatever. So he he was fixing the generator and I walked out and he now said, oh, ah, uh-uh, ah, oh, more gay. Yay. And, and then my, my nanny ran. She said, ah, yeah, well, can you? Ah, what's that? What's, what's that? He said, that's like shaking. He said, yeah, uh, ma, ma, madam. Ma, we, uh, and, I, and I was like, let me tell you, yeah, to be honest, I was, I just woke up so I was a bit dazed. I was like, is this one all right? But I was still like, Anyway, it's flattering, it's right? I'm fly. <laughs> like, yeah. I still got it. Yeah, like, yes. damn it. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, my God. Literally, almost. Oh, imagine if your husband was there. He, have he would have told him, get out. He's, are, you, are you stupid? Honorable. <laughs> Honorable, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, would, he would have just been like this. I haven't even told him yet. We'll find out when he listens. Yeah, to this. but yeah, no. Women wives are attractive, and yeah. I think. But I think the thing is, women. You know, because we do so much, mm-hmm. so we have our own careers, and we look after the house, we look after the children. Um, men kind of feel like, okay, you know, you're so preoccupied, Busy, yes. but. Don't ever get it twisted. Don't underestimate if a woman, because you know we're always complaining. Ah, oh, Nigerian yeah. men cheat, or this. If a woman wants to cheat on you, if a woman wants to you have somebody know. else's time, you will never. Know. <laughs> you will hardly know, Sha. Unless she wants you to know. It's, yeah. That you know, you yeah. knowing is because she wants you to know. She yeah. wants you to. And I just want men to actually understand this, you know, mm. so that they are called their wives more respect. Yeah, that's for those who don't. Mm-hmm. For those who think they are the only ones who can play the game. I'm not endorsing cheating. Mm-hmm. I'm beginning to. He- I'm, I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to hear this. This. <laughs> this. This. Playback. Play back <laughs> in my head now. No, I am not endorsing cheating whatsoever. But just accord your wife the same respect you want mm-hmm. her to accord you. Yeah. Okay. Know how you would deal with the girls around you. The same way you want your wife to deal with the men around her. Mm. Yeah. And the comments on that beam thing were were actually funny. No, was, no. Because that's, that's, uh, if a guy wants to touch you now. I was laughing. Uh, send me your eyes now. Ah, easy. Easy. And dollar. Sorry. <laughs> the mystery <laughs> accounts. Easy. Yes, now. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. But um, men, yeah, as I said, men just kind of forget that. And mm. women also start to think that. See all oh, the men here are just serious. They're very, they're very all their faces are just straight They were laughing now. before. They wow. were laughing. <laughs> now <laughs> it's like, oh, are you, are you what's the word? No. Are you, are you threatening us? <laughs> is it exactly. Is it a threat? threat? Uh, okay. Is it low key threat? Shall we? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, because because there are women out here that just feel like, oh, you know, I'm I'm looking, I'm I'm a mother. I can't do. No, you're a hot mother. Yes. You're hot, yes. my sister. Yes. Don't ever yes. get it twisted. Be empowered by this. Yeah. Really. And I was. That's what I was gonna say. Um, you know, Daniel doesn't I, I I don't think he um entertains mm. them and there's a difference some people actually entertain these things a lot they too. like it they enjoy it yeah. and then it becomes insulting and disrespectful to their partner yeah. when they start to entertain it too much because it's like okay maybe there is space and maybe I can play this little joke mm. and then the Daniel's like oh yeah now there's space now ha 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 yeah That's, that would kind of be like okay Daniel you kind of 
yeah, he, the line yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it's also knowing how to manage these situations and to have the conversation. Mm. You know, if you're uncomfortable about the attention, and this is for uh, media and entertainment wives, if you're uncomfortable with the attention that your husband is getting, talk to him about mm. it. Like, just have the conversation. But sometimes they don't know. Do you know, like, ha, ah, things have happened. You know, mm. I will sense. I know me, I'm spiritual as well. So plus spirit plus well, everything is alert. Yeah. Alert. Alert. Still go back <laughs> no, to go that. Ahead, alert. Stop. A different kind of alert. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell, like, some people come in as just being friendly. Yeah. Like, oh, we're friends. Oh, we're cool. Oh, we're this. But in my inner man, my inner man will let me know that this one has an ulterior motive. Yes, this one has a hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they eventually find out. So the thing is, sometimes men are oblivious to, to the tricks mm -hmm. of women you know look at all the great men in the bible that were pulled out by women it's almost like see the, like and yeah somebody like samson they told you don't tell anybody mm -hmm. that if you cut your hair uh, something will happen but out of love and out of oh i think she's genuine i think she likes me this is just to say that a lot of times men don't see things how women see them yeah. and women we are blessed with a sixth sense. Mm -hmm. Our intuition is top notch. It is spot on. So if you're feeling somehow like, yeah, there must be there must be something there. Um No, it's yeah. true. No, I totally agree with you. And you know, men can be a bit, oh, I don't want to no, don't a naive. No. Yeah, they naive. Don't really see. They don't They're see. just They're, kind, oh, no, it's a kind nice guy. person. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Nice guy. Oh, the person is just being nice to me. Yeah. This woman is being nice to me. Yes. But um, what but, can change that is conversations. Yeah. Like, just continue to have those conversations. Just yeah. continue to speak freely. Yeah, and I think it's know. the delivery as well. Because, you know, some women, they're going with a yes. hot head. And they're like, hey, I saw the way that woman was looking at you. Don't you two, you're smiling, it. you're enjoying it. Don't do it. But you can actually just bring it back. Okay, you know, I didn't really feel... I've actually We've done this before. We've done this to marriage counseling. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually done this before. You know, yes. I, 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 there was a, there was something happened. I approached, I think I heard like a conversation. And mm. I was like, oh, you know, I didn't really like... Like, I, I didn't know who you were, you were talking yeah. to, but I just kind of felt uncomfortable when I walked past. And then I was like, oh, no, babe, this is um, my, th my my friend's sister. Like, he's just like my, oh, no, it's not like that. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, compare but that to if you it, had gone there, like, like hey, hey, hey. so who are you talking to? <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. And just a soft answer turns away wrath. You know, yeah. that's scriptural. So just be gentle. Try. Women, I know sometimes you want to go in there with a hot head. Just try. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you even get them to talk. Yeah. That's how you get them to, to, to open up and to share stuff that is happening because they know that if you come hot hot mm -hmm. you're about to be destructive yeah so they will they just close up as well. they become defensive or they lock up they stop speaking and you want them to speak yeah exactly. so you know how to direct your arrows exactly. in prayer Yes, yeah. uh, the arrows in prayer and then the arrow to the bank account. All oh my goodness, above. stop. What is this now? Uh, yes, you see, yes. I'd say that Nigerian women are money is five and six. It's all right. I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me how I am. Please, don't, don't ask me. Just send me money. money. Uh, let's not lie. Nigerian women like money. But that is a topic stop. for another day. another day. Thank you so much, oh, Tracy. this was fun. Yes, it was. Nice. It's yes. very enlightening. I'm sure a lot of people, you know, can pick up so many gems from this please, conversation. Please, please. Let's not yes. fight. Yeah. Anything you don't agree with, just leave. I can't take violence anymore. I'm not. I'm a peace. I'm a man of peace. Yeah, you're not a I'm violence. I'm not a man of person. war. I'm not a violence person. Okay? <laughs> Anything you don't agree with is fine. Please, just let's let's keep it easy. I'm uh, like I, I showed you the person who set up a like a oh, fresh yes. page. You to, said so. Again, like. It's just, yeah, the person was saying your own is too much. I'm the only one that is married. All of that. Leave people how they want to do their marriage, okay? If you're not inside the marriage, then leave them. If the parties in the marriage are not complaining, hmm. then leave them. It's not your business if somebody wants to post her husband a hundred times. Mm -hmm. It's not your business if somebody wants to post his wife two thousand times. You know what I mean? Like, just leave people to do their own thing. Mind your business. Yeah, and I think it's the whole, like, an analysis. Yes. Have, oh, they posted this week. On social oh. media, people feel entitled. Mm -hmm. To, because you've given them some information, they feel like they have the right to actually share their opinions, which is fine. But online be respectful. In online in-laws. Sometimes you, th those guys are good. I think they, yeah, they've, worked they in my, they've worked in my favor in, in, the, in yeah. the past few weeks. Everybody <laughs> coming like, how can you say this kind of nonsense? You know what I mean? But just be respectful. I think that's what it is. Just leave people and their marriages. If you have any advice, drop it and keep it moving. We're there to be social, right? I hear you. You want to yeah. play. You want to be social. Be respectful while you're being social. And all these anonymous pages, your 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 opinions don't don't matter because you are not courageous. 
we like boldness and yes. courage. Say it with your yeah. chest, with your real chest. This is how I think, exactly. Yes. This is what Don't I be feel. hiding behind yeah, the yeah, grey. Yeah. No, no, no picture. All of that. So and it might be private. Yes. Anyway, my sister, thank you very much for coming on. This is so much fun. Yeah. Guys, follow Twersy on Instagram and that's a good that media. Good media yeah. On Instagram, yes. And what else? What and my pad as well. My um, pad, please. We have we have stuff coming up that you guys be interested in. So please follow my pad one hundred on Instagram. Yes. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you on another episode of Me, Her and Everything Else. Don't forget to like, share, and you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye. Bye guys.